Good morning, my audiences. How are you doing? Today we are gonna uh, study Lead Code 1621 together. 1621, um, you can search up the, in the Lead Code website for this the description of this problem. Basically, it talks about um, if there are um, n elements, n points. And you want to draw k lines with those elements, with the, these points. And those lines cannot overlap. For example, uh, let me draw again. For example, you can draw like this, or this, you know, or like this. These lines can meet at one point, but they cannot overlap. For example, like but they cannot they cannot overlap like like this, right? That 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 is not correct, but these ones are correct. So this looks like a DP problem. Um, well, how can we find the the relationship between F N? and f n minus 1 if we look at it, this my thinking way of thinking is that uh, here with the last nth element there are two ways two big ways to two categories to divide into one is um, you don't uh, totally don't include this line this this point you just Draw k lines with the n minus one n minus one points. So that would be that would make it f. Uh, let's see, it's called dp n minus one and k, right? And the other is that um, you, you always remember this is a n elements, even though it's five, the only five. But in reality, it's n. <laughs> Okay, uh, the other um, point is that the other category is that you include this, this not this point. So how many possibilities of that this scenario? It would be if we it, it, for this case for for the first if it's uh, only the length is only one that that with you 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 deduce that. From here to here, you have k minus one lines, right? Because you already have one. That here you have you have must must have k minus one minus one. That would be dp n minus one k minus one, uh, right? And for this one, if uh, the line starts from here and ends here, that would be dp a minus 2 k minus 1 and this one the same thing it will be dp a minus 3 k minus 1 and so on and so forth until it's it, it, it's 2 until it's 2 I think uh, you can only draw one line you can only draw lines with two elements k minus 1 and you have to plus them all together and plus this one to get to get the dp and k yeah basically that's the train of thought um, here I'll let me write some code here write uh, well first uh, initiate instantiate a, a DP array and uh, K and K and plus one K plus one I just just want to align the indexes so for uh, first, I'd like to um, 
instantiate the uh, initialize the, 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 the base cases. The base case is actually uh, for every uh, any any no any uh, line any of any points you have if you have zero lines that would be one that would be dp uh, x one x not zero equals to one of course you can also instantiate the big base your line uh, base base your case at dp x to one equals x star uh, x uh, star x minus one plus uh, divided by two that is also could be your base case um, these two are the same but I'm gonna just uh, start with this one uh, for int i equals to dp uh, two i is less than uh, equals to k and no, no, n i plus plus uh, dp i zero equals to one. That's the base case, and then um, let's build up the. The, let's build up the case uh, the, from the bottom up. Uh, when I, um, I'll explain later. Uh, for this, for this thing, we can use uh, prefix uh, sum to represent yeah, for this thing for here. You can see that it this uh, batch is different from this one. So it's always k minus one, k minus one, k minus one, k minus one, and this one is k. So for this batch, I will use the pre -sum, prefix sum for int, uh, let's call it length equals to uh, 1 length less than k l plus plus and uh, you would say that well, there are parentheses, but uh, and let's call it. Uh, uh, no, that's the, actually that's that's length is not very accurate. That's length is the k is the length that maybe it's call it k. Maybe small small k would be better. <laughs> and let's in let's view this as big k. Let's view this as small k. And this is length actually. Length is. Uh, from uh, you can see from one less less than n plus plus. Okay, uh, here I will create a sum. This sum is used to uh, to calculate this one. Because it's a, it's a sum of uh, the the the, num the 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 n plus one plus two plus uh, n minus one minus two minus three minus, uh, until um, until yeah n two uh, that's the and the and uh, divide and uh, divided by k minus one so that's that's here at the map okay then dp Uh, L K equals to DP. Let's see uh, L minus one K. No, small K, small K. Uh, plus sum mode uh, there is a there is a mode because of the number could be very big and uh, the eventual result could uh, uh, only require some of the mode uh, 
at first the sum is zero apparently then uh, I will uh, sum plus equals to um, dp l k minus one then here you can see that it represents this part uh, as long uh, as the l grows this not the sum keeps growing let's exam uh, basically that's it okay i have to mode by the mode and the sum anyway mode equals to mode just, just mode it to make sure that uh, it doesn't uh, overflow the integer um, Let's examine the, if the code is correct. Uh, note that this is just code I wrote. Just wrote. It might not be correct, but uh, the train of thought is should be correct <laughs> because writing code is very difficult. Let's examine that. So when from length from when length is one. Uh huh. Minus one. Actually, length is one. Uh, length is one, and k is one. One one. There's one one. Uh, one one should be zero. Actually, it should be zero. But uh, let's see if it's zero. One minus one zero zero. K k is one zero one. Uh, D P zero one should be zero because we only instantiate the initialize the, the uh, zero zero one dp zero one let me see dp zero one zero one uh, it should be zero because we only instantiate initialize the zeros so if I didn't initialize the zero one, it's it's zero. So dp um, one one equals zero. Uh, that's because yeah, it's, it should be zero because you cannot draw a line with only one point. And dp uh, two one. <laughs> And the sum is zero. Sum is equal to zero. Two one uh, equals dp one one plus sum two one. Two one. Two one should be one. Uh, now it's still this 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 lies zero. This is zero. Interesting. Uh here no 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 actually here uh this sum when L equals one when L equals one uh, the sum here Actually, we 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 make the sum equal to dp uh, one zero. It should be this one is already one. Yeah, this one it was initialized at code here, so it's one. So sum is one, and the next uh, when when the when the l increment to two, the sum is one. Then the sum. It's it it's as okay. It's the sum is one here. Then it equals to one. Two one is u is one. So it's it's initializing correctly so far. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the code is should be should be correct. Uh, basically, that's the that's my thinking of this problem. If what do you think? If you have any questions, comments, please leave uh, below. Uh, thank you and I uh, hope you learned something. Bye!